is the diode. I know most of us have had diodes, right from high school, say, moving forward, even if we never dwelt much, in, much into electronics. So diodes will only allow current to flow in a single direction. That's one of the biggest, or one of the most core property of the diodes is that they allow current only to flow in one direction. They have two terminals which are polarized and they are named cathode K and anode positive. So and actually to identify where the cathode is and the anode, you just look at the symbol here. You see this one here standing here, it's just like a K here. So where you have like a K and where it's pointing here, that's where you have the cathode, this cathode K. This is like a K pointing towards the left direction. So this is where we have the cathode always. And current flows from positive, the anode, to cathode. If you, if you apply current this way, if you connect it this way in your circuit, then current won't flow. You also do have some special types of diodes, like the Zener diode. And we'll dive deeper on this later. So that diodes also do come in two packages as well. They come as SMT and, and THT. So some, some of the few applications of diodes in PCBs, say when you want to use them and, want, and you have seen them being used, either they are being used as rectifiers, as a voltage clippers here. When I say voltage clippers, I mean that they are used to cap voltage at a particular point. Say you want like five volts and then it won't exceed that five volts. Reverse protection, as you've known, it, it will only allow current to flow in one direction. Others are used as freewheeling diodes. An example here in this, diagram here, I've used, I've used a diode here as a freewheeling diode or a flyback diode. So its main function is to block, to block power, power from flowing back into the MCUs or what's actually switching them. So some few pointers again on the, on the diodes. The diodes are always polarized, so do take care. Do take care in terms of positive or negative. The reference designator of diodes, you will see them on boards. It should be D, and this D might be a diode or might be a light emitting diode, like an LED. So both of them are diodes. So you can just see more on its application. So again, there is no like any design you'll do. Most designs that you'll do again, you might find a diode or two inside doing one of the purpose that we've mentioned about. 